what actually is a REITs, okay? A REITs actually is a real estate investment trust, okay? So when you talk about trust, there is always something called a fund manager. And for REITs case, we call a REITs manager. So, and when there's a trust, there's always something called a trustee, okay? So this is how a REITs structure works. It's something you can also call a co call collective investment scheme. Okay, similar to unit trust is also a collective investment scheme, but there is a big differentiation between both of them. And let's look at what is actually a risk. Okay, so a risk is there is a manager called a risk manager. They collect money from investor like you and me. We pump the money to this invest uh, to this risk manager. Okay, and at the same time, the risk manager also borrow money from the banks. Okay. It also borrow money from the banks. And after they take the money from the investor and they borrow money from the bank, what they do? They go and buy properties. They go and buy properties, okay? But do take note, the property they buy are usually mature properties, okay, mature property. So a risk manager usually will not buy a property, they just TOP, a brand new property. They, 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 they don't do that. Actually, if they do that, actually it's do more harm to the investor then good. Uh. You have to buy a mature property. That means actually they have traffic, they have tenant inside the property and the REITs are not developers, so they don't develop properties. That one will be the property developer job to do it. Okay. So because they buy mature property, immediately they can collect rental. Okay. Immediately they got rental income coming, so they'll collect rental from those uh, tenant as they become, they are the landlord. Okay. So after collect rental, what they need to do? Okay, they need to pay the bank first. They need to pay the bank. Well, bank is a creditor, ma. Just like when you buy property, uh, you you rent and you walk, take a loan from the bank and you rent out a property. Uh, every month you collect, collect rental, you still need to pay the bank. The only differences between you and the REITs is the REITs only pay back the bank the interest. They don't pay principal. For you and me, let's say we can together buy property and rent it out and we need to pay the bank every month the installment is the interest including the, the principal amount we loan, okay, uh, is decreasing and that one is called amortization. But for REITs, they only pay interest. They don't clear loans. So this is something to take note. Uh, the REITs manager don't clear loan when they collect the rental. So indirectly, they are perpetually forever on debt. Okay, so if you are someone that don't like to be on debt, uh, then you need to think twice whether should we invest in risk or not. Okay, but they were always on debt. And debt is a double edged sword. It is good if you know how to manage it. You know good, it can be a crisis if the risk manager don't know how to manage it well. Okay, so there's something to think of. And thus, because they only pay interest, they pay interest. Right? So with the rental income, they only pay interest. Of course, they got a lot of surplus to pay. Right? Then it can pay us as dividends. That's where your dividend come from. Okay, Your rental minus of other expenses, as the main part will usually be the interest, and then you get the dividend. So this is how the restructure works. Okay? This is how the restructure works. And why they need to pay out high dividend, or not say high dividend, they need to pay out 90% of their income out as dividend. Okay. Uh, that is a law so that they become the income becomes tax free. Okay, the income depend tax free. Thus a risk manager will need to pay out at least 90%. Some risk manager pay out 95. Okay. So this is how a risk okay. This is the example of a risk structure. Okay, a risk structure. You got unit holder, you got risk manager, you got property, you got sponsor. And this is a live risk structure. Okay, this is a live risk structure. This is capit CICT, Capital Land Integrated Commercial Trust. You can see CITC is here. We, you are the unit holders where we invest in it. There's all the trustee there. Okay, then we they got a property here. And this is the risk manager. Okay, and there's another one called a property managers. Okay, so what is a property manager and what is a risk manager? Uh, most people only know who is the risk manager. Because the risk manager is the one that AGM will talk to you. 
they want to decide what property to buy, they'll give you their strategy. The property manager are the person on the ground. The they're on the ground. Uh, sometimes we call the unsung hero. They're the one that, oh, you need to, your know, aircon leak. They are the one that need to do it, okay? AI, they are one they need to barricade the thing. When some tenant move out and a tenant move in, they need to barricade the whole thing. All this, these are the property manager. So they want, they are one that get the handle fee. Okay, the root manager are the one that charge the strategy all this. But do think of usually all this both belong to the sponsor. Okay, usually it's the it's directly owned by the sponsor. Okay, so this is how the risk structure is. Okay. Let's look at another restructure. This is Maple Tree Logistic Trust. Okay, so here we'll tell you that who own the who own the units, unit holders, and of course the sponsor is Maple Tree. Okay, then they got a trustee here. Same thing, they got a manager, and they also got a property manager and the property portfolio. So same thing, these two indirectly also owned by the sponsor. So this is how the rich structure works in general.